हेलो फ्रेंड्स 697 डेज ऑफ वॉर इन द सदर्न वॉर जोन ऑन खार्सन फ्रंट मोर एरियाज ऑफ क्रिंकी ब्रिज हेट ऑक्युपाइड बाय द यूक्रेनियंस हैव बिकम ग्रे जोन एंड यूक्रेनियन ट्रूप्स हैव मूव टुवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट बैंक ऑफ निपर रिवर हाउ वर दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट रशियंस हैव बीन एबल टू एडवांस और ऑक्युपाई द वेकेंट एरिया बिकॉज the artillery and uavs of ukrainians are quite strong in these areas on zaporizhia front in orykhiv sector the russian army is continuing its attack towards west of rabatino and on verbuf swing continues in a small compact combat zone in rimivki salient heavy mutual artillery continues Russians attacked Staromyorsky from west and also towards Eurozone where they made some small gains towards the south east of Eurozone otherwise by and large no significant changes coming to north on Kupian Swato direction there are some visible changes after long pause Russian army offensive operations towards Petropavlivka where it advanced almost 200 meters and fight continues towards sinkyuka here russian army is already inside the villages in northeast front after capturing krok malnik the russians are advancing towards tabaika towards kislyuka russians made gains almost 300 meters but this is accumulative in this week in liman directions russians advanced towards east of belgorovka while some minor gains for them in serebryansky forestry fight is continuing towards pishani and berestoy russians major gain in north is towards kokhmalna where they have taken over almost 12 km square in last few days in east north of soledar after loss of vesely ukrainian situation in vimka has worsened as well as threat towards siversk from the southern direction as well on bakhmut front towards northwest russians have made some minor gains in south howard towards klishivka russians launched assault on the northern flank and made almost 1 km gains using armors but lost one tank in nodivka in northern side the fortified area was attacked from the south east of industrial zone and north east near coke plant russians made some gains towards south west of kamenka they carried out offensive operations in north west as well near novobak mutoka and novokali novo no changes ukrainians have carried out heavy shelling in severny orlyanka stepnoe bodichi and towards new york south east of divka russian army moved into zarska okhat after having taken over vino rodniki in south of divka Russians pushed Ukrainian defense up to 1.5 km on 700 m wide front line and captured many positions including the one which I just told you in southern of Divka they also carried out offensive operations towards Nevelsky and Pirvomaisky however no success here coming to Marinka Russian army is continuing its offensive operations west of the city and made some gains towards zorzievka on novomykhailivka front russians advanced north of the villages and even in south by approximately 200 meters on interdiction missions ukrainian drone hit oil terminal in leningrad which is more than 900 kilometers from the point of origin their drones also reached Smolensk and Tula region Russians are continuing their interdiction missions 
choosing targets in Odisha, Nikoleo, Cherkasi, Khmelnytsky, but at reduced scale compared to the earlier days. On Palestine, Israel, Yemen, Middle East, in northern Gaza, IDF fighter planes targeted urban buildings, while in central Gaza, their offensive operations has reduced quite a lot. As far as south is concerned, no changes, though they are continuously attacking and trying to move forward towards Khan Yunis city. US-UK are continuously hitting targets of Houthis, while Houthis too attacking targets in Red Sea, choosing American and other ships. Israel struck Syria again in Damascus and killed five IRGC senior officials. They also hit Lebanon, killing many. Huge rockets close to 20 or and even missiles close to 15 were launched against US illegal airbase in Iraq, where few of the shells hit the target. As per US, two US soldiers are wounded badly, while Iraqi sources claim to have killed four of them. It can be seen that from Lebanon to Gaza Strip, West Bank, from Iraq to Red Sea, the regional war is on, even though undeclared. As a result, American media is openly declaring that pro-Israeli hardliners in U.S. Congress are losing faith in Netanyahu. <clears throat> While in Israel, thousands of people protested in Tel Aviv against Netanyahu and his present policies and demanded his resignation. We can see USA has launched war on Syria, Yemen, Palestine and as I said, may be undeclared, but war is going on. In an interesting yet bold statement, Slovakia's defense minister has said that his country is stripped of air defense fighter planes after helping Ukraine. Well, that's the end of my talk today, friends. See you tomorrow. Thank you.